Welcome to this installment of DASI's Unite Tutorials. In this particular video, we're going to be discussing emissive maps, which literally means emitting light. So we're going to start adding uh, emissive lights to particular surfaces. And you can add these uh, light to any kind of surface you can dream up. It could be um, particular elements in a scene or uh, it could be parts of wardrobe or clothing. It could be hair, it could be skin. So there's a lot of possibilities and you're really only limited by your imagination. So first off, let's get started by pulling in a, a potion bottle. We're gonna start with something simple, a little prop and I'm just flipping through my own personal stash or, well, content library that I've set up. Um, and this is so that I can find things a lot faster than I would normally in the Smart Content tab. Um, so I'm going to go into separate items and I'm going to click on, well, a poison bottle. Why not? So I'm going to select the bottle in the scene area, in the scene tab. And in order to get it full, um, zoom it in and see the entire bottle, I'm gonna click on this view frame. And it's this little button here. And now it's kind of in the middle of my screen, more or less. So now that we've got that, let's take a look at what it looks like normally. All right, so this is what it looks like in the eye ray view. And it looks like my lighting in this scene is the basic classic ruins um, HDRI map. And I am going to actually switch this over to sun and sky, dome and, uh, instead of dome and scene. And We'll discuss the differences between all of these later, um, or I've discussed it in another video. But in this particular case, I just know that I don't want a lot of the environment map to show up in the glass um, so that we can really experience the emission when we add it to this. Um, and I know from experience now that sun and sky removes most of that. Like, as you can see, um, if you look closely in the upper portion of the largest part of the glass, you can see clouds and a sun in there. I want to avoid that, so I'm just going to use sun and sky, which kind of gives us a more even tone to the glass. And now, what you would do in this case, I'm going to actually pull it off eye ray so that we can get some, um, so things will move a lot quick, more quickly. So. The next thing you would do is choose uh, the surface tab and in here that's uh, well on, in my particular view I'm using the city what am I using um, dark side no that's not what I want I'm just trying to figure out what workspace I'm using here City Limits Light. So in City Limits Light, um, you'll find Surfaces tab over here on the right-hand column. And if for some reason you don't see it, you can always uh, right-click and add pane, and you will see it over here if it's not already loaded, which it should be. So you would need to click on Bottle. And because we're basically going into the surfaces area of this item and we're going to specifically choose potion. We don't want to change the light emission of the glass. Well, we could if we wanted to, but in this example, we're just going to change the light emission of the potion itself to make it glow. Now, before we go any further, I wanted to briefly talk about the iRay Uber base. Now, if we look into the base color of this item, you can see that that's the, that green color, that's the potion. Now, 
If you are doing some other um, more unusual things, such as working with 3 Delight uh, shaders or some other things that I really won't get into, you may have to pop over to the presets um, section and you may have to apply the irate uber base. Um, and the reason why is because the irate uber base is actually, yeah, here it is. It's under shaders and it's this right here. You may have to just double click it while the, you know, while you have things selected. So in this case, the potion, um, and apply that irate uber base to it. It's a kind of, base layer for sh all other shaders and it all other shaders you might find say in the Daz store uh, like for example a set of dragon scales or a set of stone preset shaders that kind of thing if you if you are buying something like that those are presets made for the IRA Uber base and they go on top of it. So um, just to give you an idea, um, we're not going to have to do that in this case because I'm using us, I'm going to be, or well, I should say this particular asset, this perfect potions asset that we're playing around with here with the bottles, it already is using, it's, it's already set up and already has that IRA Uber base applied so you don't have to do it yourself so i just wanted to mention that in case you ever run into that issue um okay so let's say you wanted to make the potion a different color a different base color um and you can do that that's super simple you would just i would say turn off the current uh let's see uv maps that come with the um the actual item that we're looking at here. So you would just hit none and then you would double click inside the green area or whatever color it happens to be inside this area with the numbers and you would choose a different color. In this case we're looking at the sliders uh, but you can there's a lot of different ways that you can look at the colors but in this case I know I just want white as an example and that will change that from green to white and if we were looking at the iray view we would see that it, it was actually showing as white as well so um the next thing we would want to do is uh we'll grow we'll scroll down to emission color um or even faster like it's kind of right around oh it's right here but another way to find something fast if you know what it's called is to just type in this search bar up here it saves so much time because there are a lot of parameters you can set uh, within these different menu items here so emission color is literally the the emitted light that's where we're getting down to business here so we want uh, let's say the emitted light to be white along with the new color of our potion and so I'm going to change that to white by just double clicking in that numbered area and there we go now we have um, a few more parameters that have just popped up now uh, that we've changed the color and just a quick note about that basically uh, for most most of the time your emission color is going to always default to black um, so on these different assets uh, that you're buying in the store, you'll find that for most of them on the whole, that will be black, that emission color. If it's an, uh, an asset that actually is meant to be lit up already, like by default, you'll see a different color in there. So essentially black is the lack of light, just it, that's what it, what it is. And any other color than black will show some kind of emission. And if you look here, you can see an emission temperature and it, right now it's at this sort of bright white 6500. And if you go lower, it'll go more into the red tones, warmer tones. And if you go higher, it'll go into the bluer or um, higher 
to, uh, color temperatures. So um, just to give that, a, uh, and we're not going to mess with emission profile at the moment because that's not really something we care about at, at this juncture. So we want to have a white color and we want the temperature to be perfectly white. So that's the perfect um, color or emission temperature as well. So we're good there. Now, the next thing we want to take a look at is the luminance setting. And what this will do is actually brighten up our light. Um, so let's do a quick search because it's further down in the list, I know. And we see here that there's luminance units and luminance. And what we want to do, what I want to do, is change this to kilo candelas. And what this will do, it's basically the same thing as this one, but it, you can use far fewer num or a lower number than you would with the candelas. And it just, it's sort of, um, it's like the difference between a megabyte and a gigabyte. You, it's a lower number when you have gigabytes as opposed to megabytes. So in this case, we're going to do, um, actually, I think I'll do candelas at this point. Uh, let's do 50,000. And another one you can choose, by the way, I mean, you can choose any of these. But another one, a classic one to choose is watts. W is for watts. So if that helps you kind of decide what how bright you want something a little more easily than, say, the candelas or the kilo candelas, then, you know, do whatever you film is, you know, works best for you. All right. So let's have a look, see now at the NVIDIA iRay view. And this is basically more of what you would actually see in the final result when you've rendered this out. And as you can see, it's glowing brightly. And you can, it's a little harder to tell because you've got um, white glass with a white color uh, for the potion. So, um, but if you, if we change the color and I'll do that in just a second, you'll see that the glow will actually hit the glass in different, you know, like you can see, really see the glass glowing. So let's go back to say that bright green color. And we also have to change the, um, emission color also. So we'll do another green. So there you go. Now, um, when this resolves a bit more, we'll see that the green is hitting up here a little bit. And it's also hitting down below. So you can kind of get a sense of what that looks like. All right. So that's admission in a nutshell. If you enjoyed this Dazzy's Unite tutorial, please consider subscribing so you don't miss another episode. Thank you.